Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Tomorrow, Congress is going to vote on a bill that would ban some transgender kids from participating in sports. And to be honest, I haven't thought about this issue very much. I don't actually know any transgender students. And I think many of you may not have thought about this issue either. You have busy lives, and if you still have an open mind on this, I'd like to read to you parts of a letter that the Republican governor of Utah wrote. This letter is the veto message of Governor Spencer Cox of Utah, where he vetoed a similar state bill regarding transgender kids. He writes, I must admit, I am not an expert on transgenderism. I struggle to understand so much of it, and the science is conflicting. When in doubt, however, I always try to err on the side of kindness, mercy, and compassion. And he goes on to say, here are the numbers that have most impacted my decision. 75,000, 4, 1, 86, and 56. What does he mean by those numbers? Well, this is what he writes. 75,000 high school kids participating in high school sports in Utah. Four transgender kids playing high school sports in Utah. One transgender student playing girl sports. 86% of trans youth reporting suicidality. 56% of trans youth having attempted suicide. And he goes on to write, four kids, only one of them playing girl sports. That's what all of this is about. Four kids who aren't dominating or winning trophies or taking scholarships. Four kids who are just trying to find some friends and feel like they are part of something. Four kids trying to get through each day. <clears throat> Rarely has so much fear and anger been directed at so few. I don't understand what they are going through or why they feel the way they do. But I want them to live. And all the research shows that even a little acceptance and connection can reduce suicidality significantly. Like the governor of Utah, the Republican governor of Utah, I also am not an expert on transgenderism. But I do know this. We're all Americans. And these are kids. These are kids, most of them who wake up every morning living in fear they're going to have a bad day that they're going to be shunned, made fun of, discriminated against, and bullied. We are the United States House of Representatives. We should not be bullying kids.